Welcome to News of Jace for the week of April 25th. Upcoming events? Yes, please. First up, we have Inside the Barrel with Dorian and John Nugent from Cask. They have that on Wednesday during the day. Around the same time, now with Troy from Thirdera does his thing. That's also on YouTube. Go check it out. Later in the week, we have Lady Coding Happy Hour. I'm not sure what guests are going to be on it this week, but I'm looking forward to seeing who's there. And then in the evening, we have the, I think it's the fourth installment of Mark Scott's PHX Dev Show. It's been great. On LinkedIn, lots of engagement. Hope to see you there. Makes for a busy week, that's for sure. I recorded some teasers with Paul Morris and Asian Shore on the content they're presenting at Knowledge 22 Virtual and in person at the Australian location. If you weren't aware, Knowledge 22 is right around the corner. And if you haven't been to a conference in a while or anywhere in a while, and you're going to be on your feet a bunch, you may want to do some things to make sure you take care of yourself. On Slack, there was a great discussion about a lot of ways to do just that. Pack some COVID tests, you never know. Masks, just in case. Shoes, if you haven't broken any shoes already, don't buy new ones now, because it might be too late. But if you need to, you can always take a hair dryer to a new one and make it mold by the you feet. Also, sleep is super important. If you don't sleep in a city, I've never slept in New York, I hear that earplugs and anonymous will do great. Thanks everybody listed here for the comments on Slack that inspired me to make this section to the news. Probably my favorite section, new folks and content. I'm still following along pod three, thanks to the updates from Robert Waltz and Ian Baudru. I really appreciate you guys is tagging everybody and making these notes public. It's fantastic to follow along with your guys' progress. Adrian Ford also shared the progress they made. And it's it's great to see all these different folks coming up through the ranks. I can't wait to see what comes up next. Let's get some other content in this minute. Brad, thanks so much for sharing all the content you've made over the years. I can't wait to see how your next adventure works, working on the next part of ServiceNow. ServiceNow has been featuring some of these Service Now Heroes. Sarah Tolson's the second one. I saw the video and I thought it was great. I hope you all get a chance to look at it. I saw Julie shared the other day that as of April 19th, all the now learning instructor led courses are also available on demand. So take them at your own pace. They might not be free and you might not get everything you need from them, but you can do them at your own pace, which is a huge plus to anybody who may be working another job or doing things where they don't have that time. To fight. So that is fantastic. Great job. Now learning team. Speaking of career stuff, Robert Fedora spoke in Breakpoint with Chuck Tomasi. I haven't listened to this podcast yet, but I've heard from multiple people that it is fantastic and pairs great with last week's PHX devs show on resumes. I finally found the link for how folks can apply to be a next gen member of the ServiceNow ecosystem. You go to apply.servicenow.com. There's a lot of great resources out there, but I think this is a really great program. I can't wait to see who keeps coming through it. See you next time. I almost forgot. Thanks, Carlene Carter, for making those amazing cutouts for the new section. Thanks, Mr. Robot from Discord for this awesome background that I'm enjoying. And Robert Fedora, I appreciate your input on the video. 